Hey guys, we're here at California State University of Sacramento, where students are building a solar-powered, energy-efficient house. It's for a special competition. Let's go talk to them and find out more. These students are building a house they designed themselves. It's part of the Solar Decathlon competition. Sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy, the Solar Decathlon is held every two years. Collegiate teams are challenged to design, build, and operate solar-powered houses that are cost-effective, energy-efficient, and attractive. Construction management professor Gareth Fidges explains how they got involved. It just so happened that the last round of Solar Decathlon was, was finishing up, so I went down, looked at the competition, came back, and I said, look, we got to do this. 20 schools are selected from the proposals submitted from all across the country. This year, both California State University Sacramento and University of California Davis were selected. There's a lot of reputable schools we're competing against. Nathan Decker got involved from the very beginning. It's just a, a nice thing to see how well our reputation's grown over the past decade or so. It's a two-year process that begins with a concept and a design. We wanted to do a family-friendly home that is kind of a marriage between a more traditional kind of neighborhood Sacramento feel and a more modern design. Interior architectural design student Lindsay Crosby won the design competition as part of a class project. A lot of the houses you see that participate in this use kind of more high-tech kind of proprietary technology that makes our house more sustainable, but we're really just using common in-place building practices that are used by home builders all over the country today. One unique feature was developed by the Sac State Engineering Department. So I understand that these skylights are a special feature. Yeah, actually they are. Uh, they're solar skylights developed by our engineering students here at Sacramento State. Besides providing uh, solar energy that we needed added on to our already uh, existing grid on the roof, um, this provides a nice little shade feature as well. One of the challenges is to design and build a home that can be transported. Construction management graduate Peter Fremgren says they didn't want that to influence their design. We went for attractive first and then we figured out how to make it modular. So the, the design is very unique for this competition. We've got a lot of large open spaces, high ceilings. And how is production progressing? Well, the competition's in October, so it's got to be done by then. Well, that's the way things are shaping up here. Now let's go to UC Davis, where Jayden has the latest on their project. Oh, hi guys. I'm at UC Davis, where students are building Aggie Soul, their entry in the Solar Decathlon competition. Let's go find out more about their unique concept. The University of California, Davis, once primarily an agricultural school, is now recognized as one of the top schools for environmental science and sustainable transportation. We have a long history and very successful zero net energy research and design. Project manager Robert Good says that fits right into the goal of the Solar Decathlon competition. The goal of the Department of Energy when they began this was to encourage the universities to make this research publicly available and to make zero net energy housing more available to the public. The UC Davis team wanted to be true to their roots. Designer Elsa Liu explains. We wanted to create dignified housing for farm workers since we are an ag school. So that was really important to us. It's not just a house, you know, it's going out there to help people who work really hard and are a really integral part of our community. Every design decision in this home was aimed at making a home which is both affordable and fits the unique needs of a farm worker. One unique design feature is the cleansing room with a separate entrance. At the end of the day, farm workers can get rid of dust and dirt from a hard day's work before they enter the living quarters. They enter this cleansing room. They can take off their clothes and put it into a washer and dryer available into that same room. Then they can take a shower in the standing shower pan. So by the time that they exit that cleansing room, they have removed all particulates, dirt, and debris that they didn't want to bring into their house. The house is also designed to be very mobile. It splits and it can be transported by two trailers. This means that it can be transported to various places where farm workers need to be. And the energy efficiency part? Construction manager Tom Ryan says that's at the top of the list. The engineering team is, is, has made a lot of strides in, in making this house zero net energy, and that's also my goal. Each team in the competition gets points in 10 different categories. The winning team will have the highest combined point total. The radiant heat floor system that we're actually installing today, um, coupling that with the night sky cooling system. Um, one of the cool things about this house is the night sky cooling system. Um, which cools the house by spraying water up on the roof, which is cooled by California's cool climate. Um, and that runs throughout the house 
during the day when it becomes really hot. Communications manager Sandeep Singh explains what it's like to see their concept come to life. It makes me feel great. I feel like I am actually making a difference. You can actually touch it, you can walk through it. It's such an amazing feeling. And is construction on track to finish on time? It's a, a challenge to uh, have a crew that's never done this before, so it's a learning experience. But it's progressing along, people are learning a lot. And the next stop for them, Irvine, California, in Solar Decathlon 2015.